If you're visiting or working at St. Joseph's Hospital in Syracuse and stop by the cafeteria, you may notice there's a lot more to eat than hamburgers and chicken tenders. Today we're offering a stuffed shell, we're offering a uh, grilled veggie wrap, and then we have several other sandwiches and different options for customers. If you notice none of those options include meat, you're on to something, and so is St. Joe's. The hospital is one of the newest participants in Meatless Monday, a national campaign started downstate and promoted by three universities, including SU through the Learner Center. Monday, the whole notion of Monday is built around the psychology of Monday that it's the day that people will most often decide to go on a diet, start to exercise, do something good about themselves. So Monday is kind of like your, your restart button. It's the, the January of your week, if you will. It follows then that Monday is a good time to cut your saturated fats and try new foods. Promoters say families are becoming more aware of the campaign and restaurants like Pascal's are getting involved. Staff at St. Joe's say they're having success with Meatless Monday so far. If you just take that one day a week, it really doesn't make a, a huge difference if you're used to eating meat. Um, I would also say start with comfort foods or vegetarian items that you're familiar with. There has been controversy recently surrounding Meatless Monday with some people labeling the program anti-meat. But promoters and participants say it merely means eating this along with other options. It's not prescriptive. It's not that we should do without meat. It's that we should think about alternatives. St. Joe's executive chef is even seen cooking up some alternatives on a new video put out by the campaign, all in an effort to get more people eating a more balanced diet. In Syracuse, Kathy Maria, YNN.